Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo, and you already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. You are now watching No Sleep to Success vlog. The world is yours. I am here at the Rucker Mansion right now. Uh, we got a couple of treats for you guys. Um, Want to share uh, some business tips with you. Um, we have a nice giveaway that's going on right now which is, uh, I think it'll be very beneficial to a lot of people. Um, you know, so if you guys are watching this live, I want you guys to chime in, jump in on the conversation. If you have any questions as far as business, sales, money, finance, uh, even beauty, we got, uh, we got some people that are doing some amazing things on the beautician level uh, with the spa and everything. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome my, Buddy, my brother, Mr. DeAndre L. Rucker. You, you mind joining us for a second? Yeah. You're actually in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> actually in my closet right now. Me and my wife's closet. So, yeah. so I was, um, I was, uh, ask you a couple of questions as far as like business, right? Um, one of the main businesses you got had is a third-party container. Right. Explain what that is exactly. So third-party containment, which is like a, is a quality control company. What we do is, so let's say all the recalls from the Ford, GM, Chrysler, their suppliers, um, everything is being sh shipped in from Turkey, China, Mexico, some United States uh, distributors as well. But that is, so when a recall come or an issue come at the plant, they do is they call us. We go through and verify everything that's correct. So let's say, let's take, okay, let's take this. Let's take this bracelet for instance. If you don't, let's say this bracelet with the lion head on it. Let's say the lion head is missing off the bracelet. So in the automotive field, let's use, we're gonna use, say, let's say they're giving bracelets in the automotive and the, putting it on the dash or something like that. If the lion head is missing, it's a bad part. Put it to the, put it to the left. Good parts, you put a green check mark on it, you put it to the right. That's what my company does. Easy. I'm, I'm hiring. Um, the reason a lot of people, we have a lot of turnaround because we move up within the company. Uh, we've been growing. Uh, business has been around for like four and a half years, five years now. So business has been going, growing a lot. We were just in Michigan. Day for yesterday was in Canada last night. Y'all yesterday, back to Michigan and the Border Patrol. You guys stopped me. Um, I'm not 6'2". I know it's another DeAndre Rock out there that's 6'2". You guys looking for? I am not 6'2". I'm barely 5'5". Five, five. So, but that's basically what uh, Trinity Tech USA is uh, with the quality control third-party containment company. Yeah. Yeah. One of the top three yeah, automotive firms. Um, uh -huh. We did a good deal in Canada. We closed a big deal in Canada after we went out there to fix some issues that they had. We think help help with the issues out there in Canada. Uh, gained three more new contracts. Went over to Michigan, Dearborn, Michigan. Uh, what was the other part of Michigan? What was that? Highland Park, Michigan as mm -hmm. well. Closed some deals there. So everything's looking on up and up. So, so like, uh, negotiating process. Let's talk a little bit about the business part of it. What are some of the things you do to In the high school, you know. So what do you do to prepare yourself for the Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Basically what it is is I do it every day, you know. I mean mm -hmm. like now, like you know, just work on work like if you close a deal, if I close a deal that's gonna make me a dollar to a million dollars. It's the same to me. I'm not I don't change my ways, I don't go in there with a different plan. I go with the same plan, I go in the same mindset, and I close the deal. Like I the way I talk to you guys, I talk in my meetings. Only thing I might have a certain town. You know, I'm not going to a meeting with baseball cap and 
Coca Cola shirt. I'm I'm renting these people. I'm wearing my own clothes next time, y'all. <laughs> yeah, they but I uh I just go in with the same mindset. You know, mm -hmm. I give prime example to the deal in Dearborn. Like, don't give me it was it was a big deal. You know, mm -hmm. and million dollar deal. I went in regular. Like I went in, had what I said, what I had to say, let them know what I'm capable of doing. The proof is in the pudding. What makes me different from a lot of other people, I work from the ground up. So mm -hmm. I, I worked on it and I built it. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, I understand and they they see that when they talk to me. It's like, okay, well, if you run across this situation, how do you handle it? Right. Instead of sending a purchase guy or someone that never been in the field and know how the operation work, they would have got stuck on it. So mm -hmm. worst case scenarios, I know exactly what to do. So Well, how much is it paying? What up, cuz? You could have <laughs> called me on my phone. But uh, it started off, I started off, um, inspector start off entry level at $10 an hour. That's mm -hmm. entry level inspectors. Mm -hmm. uh, the price goes up for team lead, those with, with uh, some type of experience, project managers, process coaches, um, engineers, uh, resident engineers. So it, the prices change, it fluctuates. Uh, you can make, I cap you probably at like, 80,000, I cap you at dependent on experience. Mm -hmm. Now, which market are you? I know we look for sales, marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we look for? Uh, entry level inspectors. I'm looking for Chicago, Kansas, Michigan, Canada. Mm -hmm. What else was that? Um, oh, North Carolina as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got a phone call about North Carolina yesterday. So we were waiting on that as well. I got to go out there and have a few meetings. giving away is mm -hmm. I'm giving away 40 pair of shoes. Um, I posted earlier. Um, I had a few people uh, get back at me, send me in my inbox. I had one lady inbox me. Um, no offense to everybody else, but the lady that inboxed me, I'm real compassionate about you know people that help other people. Um, she has, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to say her name or anything like that, but she has some kids that she's taking care of. Her brother had dad and she's taking care of their kids. Those that don't know, my parents' dad when I was young. So anyone that's helping with something like that, I'm going to give her first pick. Um, I'm not going to give her all the shoes because the boys can't wear all the shoes, but I'm definitely going to give her first pick What's from the is? shoes. Um, from male sizes from nine to nine and a half, uh, women is eight to nine in shoes, sandals, flip-flops. Oh, my wife got all type of shoes. Matter of fact, let's, let's walk them through the closet. Um, Pardon me. We actually, we're doing some spring cleaning, so don't judge my house. This is a little, then it's the closet. Don't judge the closet part. Um, we're giving away, well, we're giving away some Jordans. I don't know if y'all see those Jordans. Ugg boots. I know it ain't winter time yet. Um, I don't even know what these are called, but here goes some of the shoes. Giving these away. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not giving away my Harachis. I love these. Uh, some Adidas that never been worn. You guys can see the paper still in them. Uh, brand new Adidas. So inbox us, inbox um, us or DM. Yeah. Let us know. These phone. I wore these one time. I I don't. I'm not into them, so I'm giving those away. Uh, I'm giving these away. I wore these one time. You see, some of these shoes are sold, still clean. These I never wore. I'm giving these. So it's it's about it. It's actually I count it's 40 pair of shoes that I'm giving away. Mm -hmm. I have Puma track shoes. I don't know. Some of my Jamaican buddies might like these. Mm. Uh, the shoe strings even got the joint. Wow. Nice, nice. <laughs> and got the Ferrari joint. Right. right. Um, more, more Pumas. Giving away all the Pumas. 
Uh, these are my wife's shoes. She giving these away. These are eight, I believe, are eight. I think are eight. She don't even wear these no more, so she giving these away. Uh, it's a lot, you know. Giving these. See, some of the shoes mm -hmm. we ain't never wore. We just have extra shoes. I got shoes all on the floor. So if you guys have any questions, comments, and stuff, drop them so we can see them. You know, keep you guys involved. You know, you actually, um, my wife don't want me to show y'all. I just want to show you guys the powder room. You want to go through? I'm going to join me. I don't think some of y'all want to have powder. <laughs> like I said, excuse, excuse the clothes. I'm also giving away suit jackets. I'm giving away clothes, too. I'm just going to go through all those, and then I'll let you guys know what y'all want. Yeah, so that's right. Uh, closing some deals, putting some stuff together. I see the boy over here. Not in. Right. <laughs> so we just finished um inside my closet we built my wife a new um makeup room nail room you know how you ladies go from place to place to get your hair done nails done eyelashes whack all that so i built her a room where she could come in and enjoy herself so you got the nail tech yeah you see the hammer still in the room but you know when we're done yeah, i'm still hanging up to it so you got the nail tech area, the chair, she got a little nice chair and everything. Back. So you got her nail tech area with the, the table, you sit down, doing nails and everything. I think this to warm y'all nails up and heat them up, I don't know, but that's what that is. She did her own little, got her decoration stuff up here. Mask, hello. She's still working on some stuff. Um. This is just temporarily to get her new one, but she got an arm that she had upstairs in our bathroom, so I got it kicked out. She don't know yet. So, we got another shelf. I don't know if y'all can see it. So, now how yeah. long have you been married for? Four and a half years, going on five. And this was a surprise for us. Yeah, yeah, we went to Vegas. So, we went to Vegas. I had the guys come in and put the floor down. The floor's done. We just got a mop and everything. So, I had them put the floor down. We did that. Um, and then we brought all the furniture and stuff in when we came back. Um, mm -hmm. This and stuff was done. You got that. Um, she got her uh, curtains up. So she clothes off when they had ladies night. Don't get on my damn nerves. So, there you go. And so, this is what, like two days old? Yeah, it's two days old. And we're still <laughs> working on it. Um, it was, like I said, it was a surprise for her. Um, she liked it. You know, I hope she liked it. She act like she likes She ain't in. She was just in here. But that's what it is, y'all. Like, you know. Um, as they say, happy wife, happy life. I believe it's somewhat, you know, the wives can still be happy and still get, get on your nerves or what. But that's what it is. Um, you're gonna kick me out so you know I'm in here. Uh, <laughs> any other questions, Toledo? Let me see. You guys are tuning in for YouTube. Yeah, we're We're talking about style, relationships, all kinds of stuff, man. You name it. Um, we already talked a little bit about uh, the consumer business. Let's talk a little bit about the real estate business. How's, it, how's the market looking right now? Market looking good. Um, we just closed on a building. Mm -hmm. um, I got a few other properties I'm looking into as well. Um, we're back to three houses a month. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some more contractors that's working with us. Things looking good. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely looking for new contractors as well okay. because one contractor can't take care of multiple houses, multiple units. Um, we also, um, my wife is in the process of opening up a beauty bar mm. in a location um, undisclosed right now. Uh, we're waiting on the closing paper. So that'll be coming where you could, ladies, you could get everything in one location. It won't be where you got to go over here to get your hair done. Mm -hmm. I can't tell y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's <laughs> That is what it is. So she's gonna have it, you know, where you ladies can enjoy yourself, champagne, it's gonna be real nice, you know. She do top notch, so you guys will love it. Um she's not really a camera person, but tomorrow we're gonna get in my office. I'm gonna put it on camera. So. Um new thing, uh you guys, I'm signing up with a thing called ID Life, um, Frank Kilburn. Um Frank, I'm gotta plug you because you know you've been calling me. I'm getting on top of it, man. Uh, let me find hold on one minute. Let me find a text message. Uh, where's that? Where's that? Frank, 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 Frank. I think it's a mom. Oh, there you go. So.
So it's called ID Life ID. So the I as in uh, intelligent, D as in DeAndre Life. Um, I'm getting involved with this because it's a it's a healthy supplement that's getting us away from all these foods and all these bad supplements. So I've been working on it. Um, and it, it, I've been working out and taking it, so everything's good. Tune in next episode. I'm gonna turn it on to Valar Toledo. <laughs> he howling all this. He the man. Get with him. Three one. future send us a dm send us an instant message heck you guys have my number send me a text and then you know we'll make it happen man the world is yours you heard peace